Hello, everyone, and welcome to our demonstration on how to use the Directory of Open Access Journals, which is a referatory that links out to content that is hosted elsewhere. You can find the DOAJ on our university library's website by conducting a Google search for CU Boulder Libraries Open Access. And on that website, you will find the DOAJ as well as a lot of other open access resources that you can use. Or you can simply go to doaj.org. For today's demonstration, we're going to go over how you can search for both journals and articles. So on the homepage, you can immediately jump to this search bar right here. Or if we scroll up to the top left-hand corner where it says search, there's a drop-down menu for journals and or articles. So we're going to click on journals first. So let's say that you're a researcher and you want to find open access journals to use in your own research. Um, you can find those resources here or if you would like to find open access journals that you would like to publish your own work in, this is a great tool for that as well. So in this search bar, I'm going to type in the topic food and over here, I'm going to click enter for that search. And we have over 300 search results for open access journals related to food. For each um, entry that has popped up, um, there is the title of the journal with a hyperlink to that specific journal. Um, it shows you who it's published by, as well as any applicable languages. And it also shows the journal subjects that are applied to that resource. And if we scroll back up to the top, um, you can also see the journals um, that have no fees, journals where the author retains all of their rights, and journals that have the DOAJ seal, which only about 10% of index journals have that seal. So now we've been able to narrow down our search results to four index journals. So if we scroll down and click on tourism and traveling. It's going to take me to a separate um, web page where we can see even more information about this journal. So it gives you really important information such as um, the publication fees, if there are any. It shows you when it began um, uh, publishing and open access. If we continue to scroll down, it also shows you the author's um, copyrights and publishing rights. And um, it also shows you when you can expect um, to publish your work from submission, which is really cool to look at. We scroll back up to the top. I can further click on the actual website. And there it links me out to this specific journal in its own platform. And this is where for any journal that you're looking at, if you're interested in submitting um, your own work or manuscript, you can do that here. We're going to exit out of that. Over here on the left-hand side, I can further narrow this down. So if we unclick all of our refined search results, you can also search for journals that are related to agricultural, more specifically for food. And within that um, refined search result, there are even more options to narrow down your search tactics, which is really cool if you wanna get really specific. You can continue to do so with different languages that a journal may be published in, any specific licenses, if that's apl applicable to you, and so on and so forth. Now, if we go back to the top 
and we go back to our drop down menu. We're going to go over how to search for articles. So the same basic principle applies is type in your search term, click enter. As you can see we have over 300,000 search results for articles related to food. And for each entry, similarly, we have the title of the article, which journal it was published in, authors, and the journal subjects. Now for the specific articles, some of them may have an abstract. And if you click on that plus button or the abstract and plus button, you can see a full abstract. So you can quickly see if this is the type of a material that would be helpful for your own research. And if we go over to the left-hand side, we have the same um, refined search results options. So if we click on Fine Arts to food, it went down all the way to around 650 search results. And I can continue to narrow down those results based on whatever factors it's giving. And again, we also have specific journals that you can look for um, articles in, different years of publications. And if the article or resource material has a DOAJ seal, if applicable. But that is just a quick overview of how you can use DOAJ for your own open access research. If you have any questions about how to use this or having any difficulties in doing so, please reach out to the libraries. Thank you so much.